Coach, congrats on the win. Can you just give us your thoughts on the game in general? Uh, guys came out and played really hard today. Uh, started off a little slow the first half and uh, finally got our rhythm a little bit and started moving the ball. Uh, wanted to accomplish some things, get Brian Pace, uh, you know, a little bit more action down on that block and get that, make sure we got him the ball. We accomplished that. It's good to see a guy like Leo Goodman come out of his slump. He's been struggling for a while, and for him to have his career high, that was that was a, a plus for us as well. You know, trying to establish ourselves in uh, in the paint was one of the things we just wanted to do. They were undersized, and we felt like we had an advantage, and we accomplished that. And then to see. Um, our team have 23 assists and 15 turnovers. That's where we want to be at. Anytime uh, you look at our wins, we, we have between 15 to 20 assists and it's a positive assist to turnover ratio, and that happened today. And uh, certainly we're glad to get some guys some more playing time as well. Uh, with conference play starting Saturday, and, and yeah. you, you're, you're facing the, basically the number one team in the league, the yep. season favorite. Oh, yeah. Although maybe it doesn't matter who you face, it's the start of conference play. Was this the tune-up that you were hoping for? Before that, did you get some of the kinks worked out? And you, you, you know what we did. Um, I really wanted to get Brian more minutes and get him, a, you know, feeling good about himself. And I thought we did that. And you certainly wanted guys like Leo Goodman, who has been struggling from the perimeter to start, really finding a, uh, his shooting eye again. And he, we accomplished that. Um, you know, rebounding is so essential for us. And it was just glad to see that we out rebounded somebody by twenty. Uh, this game, and that's something that's going to be very important as we move forward. You know, Florida Gulf Coast got size, they got athleticism, so it's a different uh, basketball team that we're going to face, but but we're going to have to compete a, a whole lot higher, but I feel like we got stuff accomplished and during this basketball game. I thought Leo played his, easily his best game yeah. tonight, and I know that he's important for the team moving forward if they're going to have to get success. A absolutely. He, he, he was uh, very important last year in what we, what we tried to do, and you know, it's been a minute for him to see that ball just con consistently go through the basket. I'm just glad that he got a chance to see that as well. And then Clay Virk, Clay Virk got his career high too as well. And uh, that, 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 that's going to help us as we move forward because everybody going to have a part to play and a very important part to play uh, if we're going to be successful in the conference. Seems like every game Brian Pegg is getting just a little yeah. bit closer to being back to where he was last year. He, had a, he, he didn't get the minutes you wanted, but at 14 minutes – 16.7 boards, that's pretty good. You know what? That is great for, for, for Brian Pegg. And, you know, we played Alabama. He, he got his feet up under me a, a little bit, had double figures. And then to come back and have another game with double figures, now he's starting to, to see that I can play with that back and, and uh, uh, you know, I can do some of the things that I did in the past. And what happens is, because he stayed off so long, him trusting his back again. It's not that his back is not here. His back is fine. Just him having that trust that I'm going to be okay if I make a certain move. Now he's starting to get that, and uh, hopefully that continues. And certainly we need it on Saturday if we're going to have any chance to beat the Florida Gulf Coast. Coach, congrats on the win. Thanks for your time. Thanks.